Hey guys, how's your language learning going? If you are a new friend here, I'm Zoe, a language enthusiast who speaks seven languages. I'm a PhD student in sociology in France and in Germany. Yes, this is a new description, a new version. Now I'm doing a binational PhD. If you want to know more about it, you can check out this video. In this video, I will be sharing with you five golden habits to make your language learning more effective. These include making plans, taking notes, reviewing, self-practice, and targeting your weaknesses. I will give you the whole package. Let's say you are an experienced language learner and you know how to make plans and take notes. But sometimes a little habit or trick can completely change the result after a while. I will be sharing with you my favorite language learning habits. I've used them to learn all languages and they make my study more organized. If you are feeling a bit lost or unmotivated, at the moment in your journey, I hope this video will give you a boost and some inspiration. If you like this video and find it helpful, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to my channel. So let's get started. Habit 1. Write your language learning routine precisely in your calendar. My habit, I review my weekly language learning plan every Sunday evening. I will adjust them according to my workload or other activities, but I always put them in my calendar with specific times and the list of exercises I will do. You guys know by now that my focus is on German. I study German daily, so every morning from 8 to 10 o'clock is a fixed time to learning German unless I have to attend lectures or classes. So basically, I write down exactly what I must study in my Google Calendar. For the first 30 minutes, I watch news and documentaries to improve my listening skills and vocabulary. Schon vor über 70 Jahren hatten zwei Schriftsteller vor solchen Entwicklungen gewarnt. 30 minutes, I review the words and prepare for my German lesson. Psychologische Aspekte. At 9 a.m., I attend my Lingoda small group lesson. So, Lingoda is an online language school that offers excellent German lessons targeting different skills, communication, grammar, reading, and speaking. I like the communication lessons, they have different topics and always very well structured. Like here, you have the topics for B2 level, the Zukunft der Internet, der Blog Eintrag. This kind of a topic is completely for me. There is course material, vocabulary list, and a test for each topic. Before the lesson, I always like to read the course material and prepare a little bit to express myself better during the class. Man kann dafür oder dagegen sein. Aber das Internet bleibt eine wichtige Lernplattform. Die Manipulation. After the course, I quickly write a summary to catch up what I have just learned, especially the parts the teacher corrected for me. You can use this tip for any kind of language lessons. If you have watched my channel, I always say that learning a language is not the matter of talent, instead, consistency habits creation and making language learning parts of your daily routine. There is now an exciting campaign called Lingoda Language Sprint. It's a two month intensive challenge. If you sign up for the Sprint Challenge, you take a lesson every other day. You can get 50% cash back. If you are consistent enough, you can sign up for Super Sprint. You must attend a lesson every day for 60 days to get 100% cash back. So if you want to challenge yourself or build a new learning habit, just click on the link in the description. Don't forget to use the Zoe discount code. Habit two, take smart notes. We learn words from the lesson, books, videos, or with our language exchange partner and our native speaker friends. How should we take notes? Do we have to write everything down? In my experience, it's impossible. 
to write everything down. It's not necessary. It's very overwhelming and not productive at all when it comes to revision. I usually just take notes that I think are useful. There's a tip. If you know another foreign language and have at least an upper intermediate level, you can speak to people. I mean, you can speak to people fluently and comfortably. For example, when I learn a new word in German randomly, I wonder if I know how to say it in French and English. If I don't even know, I won't waste my energy memorizing that word. Let me give you an example. I remember during a German lesson, we learned some specific words about the bicycle, the words like the Hartsprecher, I think spoke spoke in English. Of course, I've Googled it, not in Google Translate, but the Google image. And I realized I don't even know how to say it in Chinese, my mother tongue. But if you are a bicycle lover, of course, it's going to be useful. But it's still important to get into the habit of taking notes in different situations rather than just in class. If you help you build up vocabulary and learn that in context, how? Basically, I have two notebooks. It's more like two separate files, one for course notes and some documentary videos where there are more academic topics and expressions. Another one I want to share with you today is the file for the daily conversation notes. It's a Google Doc, so I can use it when I practice with my language exchange partner. She writes the correction in the doc. I can edit it as practice. I always highlight new words and expressions pronunciation problems, and grammatical points with different colors, which will make revision easier. When I'm out, if I see words in the street, I write them down in the same document. When I'm with my friends, if I learn new expressions, I note them down in the same document. Basically, this document is for all colloquial expressions, including words I learned from my tender partner, friends, everyday life, social media posts, German series, and movies. Another tip is to write down the data to track your progress. It's always motivating to see, wow, I just learned 50 new words today from different resources. Of course, you can do it with the normal notebook, but I prefer a document on the drive so I can check it with all my devices anytime, anywhere. Note taking is a really important subject. I can talk about it for two hours. If you have any other questions or want to know more, write in the comments. I feel like I need to make a video specifically about this. Do active revision. As you can see, I've put revision into my learning routine. Even for just 10 minutes, you can revise words with a spaced repetition application like Anki or Quizlet, or just read the notebook I mentioned earlier. But don't do a passive review, but active recall. You can imagine when you will use these words again and make sentences. For example, I'm viewing the notes from the exercise with my Tinder partner. Uh, Catherine, a uh, German, German French. So here I just learned the word subjective vanemong, uh, subjective possession. I remember I was talking about my research in which I have to consider people's uh, subjective perception, I mean, especially refugees' subjective perception and interpretation of the term integration. Um, so while I'm reviewing now, I will try to add the whole sentence as an example sentence. So you are using these words again in a specific context. I will certainly use this phrase the next time when I discuss my research with someone in German. You can also add these notes and example sentences to your Anki. Get used to talking to yourself. This is a beneficial exercise. I call it magical exercises for practicing the language on your own. Just send a signal to your brain. Now I will only think and talk to myself in this language. For example, Von nun an werde ich nur noch auf Deutsch denken und mit mir selbst reden. So when you wake up, try to say everything in your target language. Was ich mir zum Frühstück machen werde. Ich werde mir eine Reise Matcha Latte und einen Toast mit Käse machen. Vielleicht noch eine Kiwi für Vitamine. If there is a word you don't know how to say, for example. Ah, jetzt muss ich die Katze to feed. Wie sagt man to feed auf Deutsch? Okay. Füttern. Okay. Save it. 
Ich muss die Karte wüten. At first, it will be difficult, but the more you practice, the more you will get used to thinking in this language. Sometimes I walk down the street or waiting somewhere. I always do this exercise. Write down your weaknesses. While learning a language or talking to people, you may notice some weaknesses like pronunciation. For example, I didn't pronounce the word girl, Mädchen, very well in German. I used to pronounce it Mädchen, it means little guy, and people didn't understand it very well, always confused what, what I'm talking about. Or grammar points, like I often make mistakes when it comes to the Adjective in four cases in German, normative, accusative, genitive, and dative, all my listening skill. Like I can't understand many colloquial expressions. When you notice this, you don't just say, ah, okay, I'm gonna watch more series or movies. Write them down on a paper or your phone or a document, anything, and target them. I like to notice them. Difficulty, solution. Then integrate them into my daily study routine. While making your weekly plan, try adding some exercises to target your weaknesses. If you want to practice speaking more on your own, you can watch this video. Memorizing words effectively, this one. How to make a plan, this one. I will try to make more specific videos to adjust different skills. I hope these five habits can help you make your language learning more organized and effective. Please write in the comments if you have any other good ideas and habits you would like to share with us. Tell me what's your favorite language learning habit. If you have any questions, write in the comments. If you like this video and find it helpful, give me a like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, don't forget to do so. See you soon, guys. Cheers.